Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a smooth, bouncy text animation inside of After Effects, which looks super cool and it's super easy to create. So, without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's keep it 1920 by 1080. Make this 30 FPS and let's keep it 5 seconds long and call this text. Hit OK. Let's select the text tool. You can use any font that you want. I'm using a Helvetica Now font, one of my favorite. And let's type in our text. So I'll type in bounce to demonstrate it, align it into the center. So there we have our text. Let's increase the size a bit. So I'll go with 150. Looks good. Let's set the para alignment to center. All right. Then I'm going to click on this arrow, go into the animate properties, which you can see right over here. So I'm going to click on that and let's add a position and then I'm going to go ahead and delete the range selector. We don't need that. Instead of the range selector, I will be adding a selector called wiggle or wiggly. All right. So now we have our wiggly selector. Let's change the position really high let's go with something like 1000 all right and now if i go into my wiggle wiggly selector there are a number of different properties that we can play around with so first thing that i want to change is the based on so i'm going to change this from character to characters excluding spaces and if i just preview this we you can see we get this really nice uh you know bouncing text so we want to stabilize this text at the end so i'll go to around one second and 10 frames let's create a keyframe on the max amount and minimum amount let's pull those keyframes at the very start holding shift and then i'm going to set that down to zero and that down to zero so they start off by bouncing and they settle down just like so now at the end it's a bit robust so to fix this i can select these two keyframes and hit f9 so that we have an easy settle so if i select the keyframe and go into the graph editor you can see we have a smooth curve by the way i'm working in the edit speed graph right over here as you can see so we have a very nice and subtle animation but at the start you know they bounce off so we cannot actually just start our text animation like this we need a simple in for our text so to do that i can go into the text property again that is the animate property and let's add an opacity which is going to create a new animator so i can if you want you can just enter and rename this to something like op for opacity you know just to keep things a bit more clearer i can call this wig for wiggly you know and then let's bring down the opacity all the way up to zero go into the range select one and then we can animate the offset so let's create a keyframe on the offset go around 20 frames and set this all the way up to 100 so basically we have a nice opacity in animation for our bounce and it looks now i can also go into my wiggly selector and play around with number of different properties like if you want more wiggles you can increase the wiggle per second so if i keep it all the way up to 10 you can see we have a very intense bounce which is not um not a, I'm not a really big fan of this uh, bounce, but you can go with something like this crazy. But I found out that three second, three wiggles per second is a really nice and sweet spot and looks uh, pretty cool. You can also change the co correlation with the text, but I don't really um, recommend to do that. And everything else looks good. You can change the random seed as well. So if I just change the random seed it will change the way the text animates in for me zero was working fine pretty nice now to take this text animation to the next level what you can do is select the text layer let's go into fix and um, 
presets and I'm, I will be using a really cool effect that is echo I can just simply drag and drop it if I want and if I preview this we get this really cool echoes right with our text so let's bring down the echo time to minus 0 0.001 all right and increase the number of echoes to something like 50 and now you can see we get this really interesting look so let's add some color to this so I'll go into effects and preset type in fill let's double click but now I want the fill to only affect the echoes and not the current text layer so to do that we can add a CC composite and boom there we go so I can change this color to whichever color that I like so something like yellow maybe and you can see we get a really nice look but at the end we get some of the colors that are peeking out at the edges so to fix this I will use a simple choker all right let's drag and drop that let's go with 0.5 let's see and yep there we go looking pretty nice so if I preview this really quick there you go you have a really cool animation using some very easy tricks and one more thing that you can do is duplicate this hit ctrl d let's pull this a few frames forward maybe and um i'll get rid of uh let's change the color first of all to something like a different one so i'll go with something like a nice orange color and we get a really interesting look all together so let's preview this really quick and as you can see it looks so interesting and looks very complex as well so this tutorial is more like a quick tip on how to create this smooth bouncy animations text animation in after effects and i hope you enjoyed it so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions that i know guys is too many things to do but they are absolutely free please kindly do it anyways i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out <laughs>